so this was a business card that I did for a promotional piece for Roundup in 2019, which is a men's roundup. It's a Christian men's retreat that I am a, a member of uh, as part of the uh, leadership team. And I did a whole series about their website. So if you want to check out the mensroundup.com website and also look at uh, the Building with Elementor series, I, I did the website for this uh this place there. So essentially what I've got here is it's all built in Illustrator. See some outlined text there. There's some, you know, not outlined text here. And I've got it all kerned and ready to go. And it's essentially just a black image here. Let's look at our, I guess, color builds, right? So uh, this particular color is 10% cyan, 11% magenta, 16% yellow. So it's kind of a warm gray tone and 90% black. So that is what this tone is. And the red that's, you know, outlining this, lock that down briefly so I can see the red. So this red is 0% uh, cyan, 98% magenta, 76% yellow and 52% black. So that's kind of what I've got going on here. And then I've got just various shades of gray. So it's not a really super colorful piece, but you could do uh, any colorful stuff you might want to do. And then the back is just that same warm gray with, with a uh, bunch of text on it. And so the outside edge of this, this white line that you're seeing here on the image is actually gonna be the cut line. So that's two and a, it's a two inch here by three and a half inch high. That's a standard business card size. And so that's, that's how I set it up. And when I output this, when I export it, you go file, save as. Generally speaking, 99% of the time when you're doing a print job, you're gonna create a PDF as I have already done here, but I'm gonna just make another one so you can kind of see the settings I use. I'll just do uh, two, uh, whatever, 2021, just so that it doesn't save over the other stuff. So depending on where you send it, you could do all, or in some cases they want individual front and individual back pieces done, like I've got a one and a two here. We're gonna just assume that they're gonna take both sides to begin with, and it's as an Adobe PDF, save. Once you get in here, I've got different presets, right? So these are the ones that are going to be built into your computer when you, you know, install Adobe Illustrator. And so we got press quality, and that's a good place to start. So it preserves Illustrator editing. This is all standard settings here. And compression is going to have bicubic downsampling to 300 ppi for images above 450. This basically is just, again, all standard, and this is all fine. You don't need to change any of this. Basically, what this is going to do is if there's any photographs included, if they were ultra high resolution, like a 600 PPI image or pixels per inch, that's what that stands for, then it's going to downscale it to 300 PPI because most printers are at 300 PPI. So you don't need more than that, and it's just going to keep the file size reasonable. Uh, but you could change this... Uh, this this information you could say do not downsample so like if you want to keep everything a hundred percent retained and you don't want to change any of that content you could just say do not downsample and then it you know the file size is going to go up to a reasonable amount but it's not going to depending on what kind of image you have in there it may or may not be a prohibitively large size just keep in mind you're going to be uploading these files online so you know you don't want to make them huge either so marks and bleeds, this is an important part here. So what oftentimes will happen is all printer marks get installed and you don't really need all printer marks. So I just generally turn on trim marks and note in the file setup, I do not have a bleed uh, line showing. And depending on how you set up the file, you may or may not have a bleed line showing. So I just, you c if you have a bleed line showing, you can say use document bleed settings and it'll automatically set it up. But if you don't, like in my case, I don't, I just generally put in 0.2 inches. Um, you could put in one pica if you're using picas, but that's just generally what I do is 0.2 inches. And then the output, the color conversion, in this case, it's gonna be printing to a CMYK printer, a traditional CMYK printer, but you could also, convert to destination 
And then there's all these different op optimal different types of outputs. So if you're going to be co uh, printing it on a Grackle printer, then you could use and coated paper, then you could use coated faux gras 39 or coated Grackle 20 2006. It just kind of depends on what your printer is set up. And if you talk to your local print shop and they'll tell you what setting you should use to get optimal color output. But uh, generally speaking, if you just, you know, leave it on US web coded swap working CMYK or just, you know, convert to destination preserve numbers working CMYK, US web coded swap, you'll be in good shape for 99% of the time. And these other options here are basically for setting a password for the document, like if you're going to share it with somebody and you don't want them to be able to open it. And the summary just gives you kind of a detail of all that stuff. So that's all that is really just mostly it's just marks and bleed. You just trim marks and then setting a bleed. And what that's doing is it's going to allow this extra content that I have outside of this, this document line here to show up so that when they'll print, they'll print with uh, an outer border and then they'll use a blade to actually cut off that outer border so that that way the ink goes all the way to the edge because this is a full bleed card meaning that it's got color that goes all the way to the edge all the way around on both sides so we're going to go ahead and save the pdf and i will show you what that pdf looks like in the promo card here this is the one i got so here is our printing piece and if we look at it in print production mode, we can look at the output preview. So it's still US web coded swap. So there's our cyan turned off. See, it's just a very subtle overlay. Magenta, again, very subtle. Yellow. And you can see that changing the red there. If we were to get closer, you'd see it. But the black is the primary, right? So there's... It's, a, it's basically what's called a build black or a build gray in this case, a warm build gray. And I'm doing that because I want this to look nice and dense. And in, if you just did it in black, say you just did it in 90% black with no other color in there, no yellow cyan magenta, then it's going to tend to look pretty light. And also, depending on the printer you use, especially offset printers, you may see a little bit of shadowing in here. Uh, depending on which direction the press is running, if it's running this way or this way, you still may see a little bit of shadowing. But with a build black, it's going to be less noticeable. So that's also a good tip for you. Anyway, thanks so much for watching today. This is Eric at Learn Design with Eric. I hope you learned a lot on how to set up your business card uh, or your print files in general. And please drop me a like and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. If you have any comments or thoughts, please leave those in the description below. And I, I appreciate you guys very much taking the time today.